I'm Tuffy Stone, and these are my spiced chicken wings with a celery seed white barbecue sauce. Chicken wings are uh, one of my favorite things to grill and smoke. I like them fried, I like them uh, cooked on offset, I like them cooked on a grill. This recipe here, we're gonna brine the chicken wings. I've got a recipe that you can find on my YouTube channel. You'll find it on my website, tuppystone.com. It's also in my cookbook. It's got mirepoix, carrots, onions, celery, peppercorns, bay leaf, fresh thyme, uh, uh, fresh Italian flat leaf parsley, water, salt, and sugar. It's really a great, brines are such a great way to bring flavor with inside the meat. And in this case, it's just gonna elevate these wings. You don't have to do it. We could go straight in, rub wings and grill them. They'd be good too. But we're gonna do a two hour soak with these wings in my brine. The brine recipe's got all the things that I just told you about. It's got little peppercorns. It's got all these things that can get on the meat itself. So I use a strainer whenever I use this brine and I'll actually pour the flavorful liquid uh, through the strainer until the wings are covered. And again, we're gonna do a two hour soak. So let's just talk a little bit about brines because I think it's really important. Uh, if you saw the recipe on how I make my chicken brine, I say that I don't cook this brine. It's all through osmosis. So I mix all the ingredients together and I refrigerate it. Because it's not cooked at all, we want, these, uh, we want this brine to soak for about 24 to 48 hours before we use it. Then that way the water will pick up all the flavors of all the aromatics and all the ingredients that we've put into this brine. So what are the benefits of brines? Brines can bring some really nice additional flavor inside the meat. And you're gonna see throughout my cooking, I use not only this brine, but I use other brines as well. I will use them for chicken, I'll use it for pork, uh, I'll use it for you know turkey, just to help elevate the flavors of, of, of whatever it is that you're cooking. So now that our chicken wings are in the brine, we're gonna make our celery seed white barbecue sauce. Just a little side note, when I was working on my cookbook and I was working on barbecue sauces, um, I had, you know, a few different tomato based barbecue sauces. I had some vinegar based ones, but I felt like I needed more styles of barbecue sauce than those. And so this sauce right here, my celery seed white barbecue sauce was the first uh, mayonnaise based barbecue sauce that I created myself. White barbecue sauces are, are very well known in Alabama. It's also referred to as an Alabama white sauce. Um, my friend Chris Lilly and their restaurant, Big Bob Gibson's, is legendary, known for dunking their chickens that are cooked on the pit uh, in the white sauce. But this celery seed white barbecue sauce was my first, and I know why Alabama folks like that sauce so much. You could put this on a rock and it would taste good. I use it for a lot of different preparations. I'll use it on wings. I'll use it on pork loin. I'll use it on whole chickens. I'll use it on broccoli charred over the fire. So just a really, really delicious sauce. So the first ingredient in my celery seed white barbecue sauce, which by the way, you can find this recipe not only on my YouTube channel, but you can go to tuffystone.com, go to recipes that's there. It's also in my cookbook. The first ingredient is one and a half cups of mayonnaise. So from where I come from, which is here in Richmond, Virginia, when we grab mayonnaise, it's Duke's. Next ingredient, one half a cup plus one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. I was once, um, I wanna use the word scolded, but I was once told that my recipes are too complicated and I think they're right. But anyways, that extra tablespoon makes a difference in my opinion. Next add, three tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice three-fourths of a teaspoon of granulated garlic, one and a half teaspoons of whole celery seed, three-fourths of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Here I go again. Are you ready? Two and a quarter teaspoons of kosher salt. Just to be a total pain in the butt, one tablespoon of simple syrup. Although I can say you can substitute uh, two teaspoons of granulated sugar if you don't feel like making simple syrup but I had simple syrup around because I was making fresh lemonade. So I've got all my ingredients in a bowl. 
there's no cooking there's no simmering this is just mixing it up these flavors actually develop better if they're refrigerated for you know overnight to a day um, let that celery seed kind of bloom but all we're going to do is mix it up put it in a uh, container and refrigerate it until we're ready to use so our chicken wings have been in the brine for two hours i'm going to remove them out of the brine put them on a paper towel to dry So I've taken my chicken wings out of the brine, patted them dry on a paper towel. Now I'm gonna take my Tuffy Stone Everything Seasoning and I'm gonna season both sides of them and let them sit for about 45 minutes before I go to grill. Now we're gonna grill our seasoned wings. I've got my kettle hot. I'm going to grill them directly over the coals, flipping uh, as needed. There's no sugar in this rub, so I don't have to worry about the sugars burning, but I do want to, I want to get a crispy wing that's not overcooked. As you know, I like spritzing and spraying. My go-to when I'm cooking poultry is usually pineapple juice. Uh, not only does it add a nice additional flavor, but that uh, natural enzyme in there can help make the skin more bite through. I've got half my grill with coals and half my grill with no coals. It's just the way I like to cook. I like to have uh, an area where if, if my meat's getting too crispy or something like that, I can pull it off of the coals, still keeping it near the heat and have it continue to cook through to the doneness that I'm looking for. So I'm a big fan, if you didn't already know, of two zone cooking. Sometimes I'll use a spray bottle or a brush, but I'm just gonna hit these with a little bit of clarified butter. You gotta pay attention when you're cooking with fire. So if that butter's dripping down on those hot coals and it's bringing up uh, flame, you just wanna move it around. I don't wanna burn these up. They're gonna be too delicious. So as I always talk about, Use all your senses, and in this case, I'm using my eyes. The internal temperature that I'm looking for is about 170 degrees. So the wings are done. They got a splash of butter. They're smelling so good. Now we're gonna hit them with some of the celery seed white barbecue sauce, toss them, put them back on the grill. Let's check them out. For those that don't think they like mayonnaise, this will make you change your mind. 